To remove the IV, you're going to need some alcohol pads. Might need a couple. The offside is usually a little difficult to remove, but so you don't peel off the patient's skin, you want to use your alcohol to gently peel it off. If the IV has been on the patient's arm for a while, it may, may, may have become really sticky, so these things can be hard to remove. So that's not so bad. So we're going to peel the op site and the tape all around the insertion site. lucky because this patient has tough skin. Okay. And this patient's pretty cooperative because he moves his arm around. All right, so we're around, you've removed the tape all around. So I'm going to take pause. Hold it. Make sure that the tape is removed. Pull back. Gentle pressure on there and pull the catheter out. And you should have the whole thing out. Put that aside. And I'm going to hold the pressure here. Since this patient is on blood thinners, I'm going to hold it on there for a little bit. So ideally, you should have that coban, the thing that they use in lab when they draw your blood. It's tape that kind of sticks to itself, but since we don't have that, we're just going to hold pressure on there for a little bit. And this you can use to put gentle pressure on there as well. Put that on there and make this tight. Okay. And 